Okay, what we are gonna go over today is um, how to select whether to upload or download to the PLC because sometimes it's a little bit confusing. Okay, let's say we have logic is running in the PLC, everything is fine, and I want to go online and check you know the code that I have to monitor certain inputs or outputs. Typically, what you are gonna do, you're gonna go online, okay, and um, if there is a mismatch the PLC is gonna tell you hey what do you want to do are you uh, uploading or downloading upload to the PLC means you are sending the uh, the code from the PLC to I mean upload sending the code from the PLC to the computer okay so you upload the code from the PLC all the way to your computer download you take whatever you have designed on your machine and you download it to the PLC if you're not certain and the code is running and the, you know everything is going fine all what you have to do is upload because you want to get the running code from the PLC so if I click upload here the code from the PLC is gonna be transferred to my uh, PC and I will have uh, whatever the PLC is running but if I'm designing you know up the uh, new project or updating a project uh, offline and I want to go online and I'm certain about it I can download but you have to be aware that when you download the PLC will go to offline and the system will be in a you know in a program mode it's not gonna be in run mode so be careful when you do that because you don't want to stop any process or operation so uh, here I'm gonna click download uh, if there is no error in the code everything is verified you know everything will go smooth you can see it's checking you know verifying uh, all the code that I have okay we got zero error so we are back you know online uh, after downloading you have to make sure to go run mode okay and we are there uh, if you now if you want to know which PLC you are using you can always check it from the IP address here or you can go to the uh, controller organizer and you can see your IP address 